This video gives an overview of the start to finish ISIM CFD process. The basic workflow is from left to right across the function tabs. The first step is to ensure the integrity of your geometry. ISIM CFD has automated tools to help with the process. Next, mesh size and other parameters will be defined. In this example, you want to reduce the mesh element size in small geometry spaces and also want to limit the maximum size on all surfaces. The mesh is computed and displayed. Some display items are turned off to reduce clutter. Different display modes are used to visualize the mesh. You can rotate and zoom to check all regions of the mesh. Use the mesh quality metrics to display numerical statistics. Click a bar in the quality histogram to locate the cells. Now the material type for the bar will be defined. First, give the material a name and specify a few key parameters. Then, the material type is assigned to the elements. The bar will now be constrained and loaded. Give the constraint a name and specify how the geometry is constrained. Select the surfaces where the constraint is applied. The end of the bar is constrained against any translational or rotational movement. One end of the bar is constrained against movement, the other has a unit force applied normal to its surface. Lastly, choose the type of analysis you wish to perform and then submit the project to your solver.